Alright, so this is White Paper Cat, and we're going to be doing a review on MPS YouTube. So what this does is you're able to, um, you're able to uh, browse YouTube using the command line. My pet peeve with this application, though, is um, you need to get a um, API key with uh, YouTube enabled in order to get this to work. So you need to have like a key, and to be able to get that is definitely not um, user friendly. But anyway, but then again, if you're browsing YouTube through the command line, you know you're not you're you you know you're not an inexperienced user anyway. So if you want to do stuff like that, so to um, Run the command, you just simply type mpsyt, and um, to search something, for instance, you can type whatever, I don't know, Linus, and it'll give you an index of all the Linus videos. We're going to play number seven, and we're going to do, it takes a minute to load. This, you could use either MPV, or you could use MPlayer for this. It's a little choppy on my end for some reason, don't know why. But anyways, it's also you can also use um, it's also compatible with Last FM. So if you just want to listen to music, of course you can. You can configure it. So if you have a Last FM account with an API key, you can do that. You could either set it to show video or not. And, um, so the last time this application was updated was in 2018, but it should work as long as you have an API key. But anyways, that's all I have to say about this, um, little application, um, if you want to learn more about it, I will put the uh, link to the GitHub page in the description. Um, you can install this um, using um, the Python Package Manager, or also known as PIP. Um, I recommend you use that, because that actually has the latest build of this application. And um, I would look up on how to get a um, Google Cloud API key and how to set that up before using this. So, uh, yeah.